a thousand years ago, the golden age of Islam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, So Betelgeuse is a candidate for supernova, right? And so let's say it were to go to supernova. um, How how long would the constellation not look the same anymore? Would it be an instant thing that that one star? No, no, just that one star. Betelgeuse is his. Depending if you draw it. Orion facing you or facing away, he's been variously drawn both ways, but it's, it's his upper shoulder. Mm -hmm. It's the star that represents uh, his upper right shoulder. If he's facing you and the, uh, the star would get very bright. I I have to check my calculations. It should be bright enough to be seen in the daytime, but I have to check. It might not be, but um, it's a very knowable fact. It's just because I don't know it in this moment. A very calculatable fact. And, then when it's done, it will be this much dimmer object, um, typically a pulsar, and you'll, there'll be a gas cloud around it. It'll still be an interesting astrophysical object, all right, it, afterwards, but it won't be the bright star that it currently is. But the rest of the stars will just be happy. They're, they don't care. But what, what just from, from, from our vantage point, how, would, would it take a week for us to no longer see the shoulder of Betelgeuse, or would it remain just slightly different? Oh, no, no. Once it blows up, the, the star is gone. The star is gone. So you're going to see the light of the explosion for several weeks, and it'll just get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until you just see the remnant of the supernova, which right. is typically a neutron star, which if it pulses, we call it a pulsar, with with gaseous stuff around it, leftovers from the, from the and, supernova and, explosion. 